Welcome to beautiful Atwood Lake Resort and Spa. <laughs> it sure, certainly feels like a resort <laughs> This place and spa. is an amazing yeah, campground. It's beautiful here. We are here for, what are we here for? We are here for the second annual Glamp Out, the Adventure Bandits, which is an Ohio YouTube channel. Super nice people. Uh, we met them a few years ago and they had a camp out last year and they have one this year. It's been hyped up and There's it's a lot just going a on lot of energy here. So, um, seems like a lot of people are already here. There's a lot more people coming. There is a ton of channels that are kind of come, coming together here. So hopefully- People from all over the country are coming to this. Yeah. So we've met people from North Carolina, Georgia, uh, Florida, some from the Michigan. Midwest, uh, Michigan, and out mm -hmm. in like Arkansas and mm -hmm. Arizona, or not Arizona, but in those areas have all merged on that wood lake for this so mm -hmm. it's a it's an event where you make it your own i mean there's a lot to do you just get to pick and choose what you want to yeah. do but the mostly at events like this i say we just meet people mm -hmm. just get to know some people maybe yeah. find out somebody that you may want to camp with again yeah. that has been our uh, kind of thing is when we go to some of these meetups when we walk away we're like hey who could we connect with after this you know this is a big event so we like to spend time with them one-on-one -on -one outside of a big event just to get to know them. So yeah. that it's going to be a challenge for us is when we walk away here, who can we reconnect with? Right on. Let's have some fun. Atwood gives you this little pad out front here, but we decided since it was long enough, we wanted to keep the truck over here so it would uh, keep our view open of the lake. I know once other campers get here, it'll block it a little bit, but how nice is this? Mike is going to go at it again. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better this time. Hmm. Yeah. It's time to shut the lights off, huh? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is our second, first morning. Mm -hmm at the glamp out it's friday morning <clears throat> what are we doing today i think we're today there is there is an agenda for this whole weekend but today there i think there's bingo there's yeah. boat rides we're taking a boat ride i just mm -hmm. don't know what time yeah like and 10 30. yeah they are okay. packed full of anything you want to do it's available, it's available to yeah. do cornhole starts i think tournament start things like that so scavenger hunt that's going on all weekend all weekend so yeah we are part of the scavenger hunt we're one of the answers so we'll see we see how many people find us yeah right, so we'll see you along the way And you drove here. I drove here. Way to go.
are we heading? Um, we're gonna go over see. We're gonna go to the FN section. We're going to the FN section. The coffers are over there, so we want to go. And it's really far from where actually all the action is, so we're gonna go check out their site. Oh, and uh, we're gonna go pick up Gary. We're gonna pick up Gary Hong on the way. All right, let's go. Get it. partner. All right, so it's Western theme. No, West Mike took Western theme to a whole new level. What's not to love about this? <laughs> I mean, oh, come on. Oh, he's like hillbilly theme. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all fun and games. She's just angry because it's not Amish. <laughs> all right, so they do have a Western theme tonight. We're dancing. We're not dancing. Trivia. We're watching people dance. I might dance. She can dance. I'll, I could dance. I'll so. watch. Okay. So they were supposed to be learning dances and I didn't know about it, but until last night, so it was a little too late. So we're gonna head over there and see what we can get into. Howdy partner. How do you do? Okay, I'm okay with the jab. The thing I don't understand is you brought a lasso. You got brought a big lasso. Of course, we're going to start the morning going up and get some donuts. Yeah. Um, this whole weekend, they have done a food drive for some local, local uh, organization. Yeah. So you just put your bag out front of your site of uh, canned goods, and they come around and pick it up. So that was kind of one neat thing they got going on. We'd like to we're meet try a, to, yeah. a couple other channels that we follow or we have been following we'd like to spend time with them just get to know them but a little good bit heavens, there's so many people here yeah there is and um it's it's hard to visit everybody and and everything so we are going to get the day going and yes. go get some donuts and go meet more people and just see what the day holds so let's roll like a donut wheel <laughs> Just headed up here to the cornhole tournament. Look at this. That's a cornhole tournament. Bringing people together. That's what they do. Hi. 
dinner time. This is a half of the Adventure Bandits. And I just want to say thank you so much. This is our second lamp out with these guys. They put on an amazing, 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 amazing meetup. You guys are very purposeful about putting people together, getting to know each other, and developing relationships. Actually, we have already challenged ourselves to leave here and meet up with another couple again and see if there's, you know, a little spark or whatever, you know, to see if we can't develop more friendships. So I wanted to ask you real quick is, how many campers did you have here this weekend? <clears throat> we were able to sell over, I would say around 315 sites. Uh, also, we were able to rent uh, two of the cabins and one of the RVs wow. that they have stationed here. They're glamping too. Yep, they oh, are glamping awesome. too. Yeah, and then you guys have another event coming up as a meetup in Florida. Yes. And when is that? It's called the Bandit Bash, and that's October 12th through the 15th, and that's in Ocala, Florida. And it's going to be held at the luxury RV resort called Champions Run. I would encourage you guys try to go to any of these meetups. Try to meet people that you have, you're like-minded already coming together with your rigs and campers and you just never know what will happen after that. Yeah. So It's more so building uh, the camping community. It's diversity, mm -hmm. which we uh, definitely believe in and it brings unity into the camping community and that is our goal. We Absolutely. want people to be happy and just have a great time and get out and start camping and living your best life. Yes, thanks again. Thank you. I remember as a kid growing up, it seemed like my town was so small, everyone knew each other. You could take a walk and say hi to neighbors sitting on their front porch, and they were just as eager to greet you. But somewhere along the way, people started building decks on the backs of their homes, hiding away from the community. That's why we love this camping community. It brings back that nostalgic feeling of walking by a campsite and saying hi to the campers while they enjoy a fire. Community the way it was meant to be. What if there was an event that drew campers together and made meeting people part of the plan? That's what the Adventure Bandits Glamp Out is all about. Many times a host can make it all about themselves, but not the bandits. They show up to serve their community and we all benefit from their efforts by having the opportunity to meet each other and create new camping friends. Who knows, maybe lifelong friends. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Happy glamping.